and this PYQ is from your recent paper 2024 JE Advance. Hello students, today we will discuss one more PYQ and this PYQ is from your recent paper 2024 JE Advance. And question is, you are given with a polynomial okay, whose degree is 4 and coefficients are what coefficients are real number and we are given with that value of this polynomial at 1 is minus 9 and iota root 3 is what that is the root of this equation where iota is root over minus 1. And if alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha 4 are what? They are the roots of the equation fx is equal to 0. Then you have to find what? Then you have to find the value of this particular expression. So you can say your fx is fx is that is x power 4 plus x power 4 plus ax cube ax cube plus bx square plus c. Yes, we are given with this fx x power 4 plus ax cube plus bx square plus c and sir, so we know f1 is minus 9. So, put x is equal to 1, okay, put x is equal to 1, then f of 1 is equal to that is 1 plus a plus b plus c and this value is minus 9. So, you can say from here that a plus b plus c is what that is minus 10. Okay, that expression is what that expression is minus 10. So, now sir, 4x cube plus 3x square plus 2bx is equal to 0 having roots as iota root 3. Okay, so 4x cube plus 3x square. Now, 4x cube plus 3ax square plus 2bx is equal to 0 ok so if you observe you can take x common so you will get what 4 x square plus 3ax plus 2b is equal to 0 ok so you can say sir this is what this is cubic equation so clearly one root is what one root is 0 from here so, one root is 0. Second root we are given with that, that is iota root 3. And we know, sir, this is my uh, polynomial of degree 3 having 3 roots and you know coefficients are real number. So, when coefficients are real number, so your complex root always occur in pair. So, if one root is iota root 3, so second will be what? Second will be minus iota root 3. Got it? So, it means from here you can conclude 4x square plus 3ax. 4x square from here you can say 4x square plus 3ax plus 2b is equal to 0 having two roots one is what one is iota root 3 and second is minus iota root 3 ok. So using the relation between roots and the coefficients you can say sum of roots that is iota root 3 plus of minus iota root 3 is equal to what sum of root is minus 3a by 4 minus 3a by 4 so from here you can conclude that a is equal to what a is equal to 0 ok because this sum is 0 so minus 3a by 4 is 0 it means a is 0 second is iota root 3 into minus iota root 3 product of root that is equal to what that is equal to 2b by 4 that is 2b by 4 so when you simplify it you will get this thing as iota square which is minus 1 minus you already have that is plus so 3 is equal to what that is b by 2 so from here you can say b is equal to 6 ok b is equal to 6 and a is 0 when you put these values here when you put value of a and b in this so you will get what you will get the value of what you will get the value of you will get the value of c so c is equal to what c is equal to a plus b is 6, so minus 16, yes, so c is equal to minus 16. So now we have a, b and value of c here. Now sir, you can say fx will be what, fx is, now sir, fx when you put here, so you will get fx is equal to what, that is x power 4 plus ax cube, a is 0, 
so this term is 0 bx square that is b is 6 so 6 x square minus 16 plus 6 x square minus 16 got it so this is my fx so sir if you put fx is equal to 0 if you find it fx is equal to 0 from here you can say x power 4 plus 6 x square minus 16 is 0 okay so you can say so that is what that is x square plus 8 into x square plus 8 into x square minus 2 is equal to 0 you can observe that is x power 4 minus 2 x square plus 8 x square which is plus 6 x square minus 16 is equal to 0 so from here you can say either x square plus 8 is 0 or x square minus 2 is 0 okay so when you simplify this you will get x minus root 2 into x plus root 2 is equal to 0 so you have two values of x one is x is equal to root 2 or second is minus root 2 okay and similarly here when you simplify x square plus 8 is 0 so you can say sir that is uh, x plus 2 root 2 iota or x minus 2 root 2 iota is equal to 0 so you can say this is x square and this is minus and iota square which is plus 1 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 is 8 got it so value of x are what minus 2 root 2 iota or 2 root 2 iota 2 root 2 iota so it means fx is equal to 0 fx is equal to 0 having 4 roots let's say this is your alpha 1 let's say this is your alpha 2 let's say this is your alpha 3 and let's say this is your alpha 4 okay if you are talking about the modulus so modulus of alpha 1 is what now you can say modulus of alpha 1 square plus modulus of alpha 2 square plus modulus of alpha 3 square plus modulus of alpha 4 square that thing is what that thing is equal to modulus of minus 2 root 2 iota okay that is minus 2 root 2 iota that is alpha 1 we are taking okay modulus and whole square and alpha 2 is what alpha 2 is that is sir mod of 2 root 2 iota and square of this plus if you are taking alpha 3 that is root 2 so that is mod of root 2 square plus mod of minus root 2 square so if you are talking about the modulus of this thing so modulus will be 2 root 2 so that is 2 root 2 square plus that is again modulus is 2 root 2 square plus that is modulus is root 2 square plus modulus of this is root 2 and it's square so you can say this is what 8 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 when you simplify it you will get 16 or you can say 10 and 10 20 okay so finally the value of this expression is what value of this expression is 20 okay so you can say sir if alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 are root of this fx is equal to 0 then the value of this expression value of this expression is 20 and that's my final answer okay so that's enough for this video in the next video we'll discuss one more question from your previous year papers thank you everyone